despite the fact that you know what well, the topic is actually appropriate this time and even though there aren't uh, too many swears your discretion is still advised because I'm can be a little loopy all right here we go from the YouTube dog show far away from Jerry Seinfeld's favorite comedy club it's week out there with Ellie Euler and now a man who thinks that Jerry Seinfeld should be rewarded with at least 58 more Emmy Awards, Ellie Cunningham Mueller! Ha! Welcome week to update, the Melody Cunningham Mueller was on my breath office. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's so shout out to one song. The Gaming Twoogs, or Twoogs, the Gaming Twoogs, thank you, with uh, his gaming videos and, and DuckTales, the discussion videos. Lex Mario Kevin and Sven edits Nep509 and Vigilante videos in Search Law for this commentary videos and things like that. Ah, uh, I gotta say this. We are in for a bumpy ride tonight. Here we go. Adam, go on over here, will you? Here comes Adam, folks. Yes. You know what I want to talk about tonight, brother? I want to talk about this Jerry Seinfeld guy. A comedian who wants to make you laugh while making $98,000 a second at the same time. I don't think you know what a second is. Well, don't you know what? Like That's that. That's literally more money than you can ever think. Okay, I know that line wasn't funny, but it's 159% true, so there you go. You don't know what a second is. No. Now, 2% funny, 159% true. There you go. Now, he deals with hecklers in a very odd way, brother. He tries to be a therapist to get them to calm down. Okay, yes. So, in other words, we need Dr. Gary. Quite possibly. But now, we need Dr. Phil more. Yeah, but let's be honest. It seems as though Dr. Gary is an even uh, better therapist than Dr. Phil, so... That's why you're going to the fucking ranch. <laughs> now, he loves Superman a lot. Now, he always believed that he was the character of truth and justice. So much so, they even had his action figure on the set of Seinfeld. That's how you become a hit show. That's how you get a hit show. Get an action figure on board. People, uh, now, here's the thing, I don't right? People uh, look at me as though uh, I'm nuts, right? Because, uh, because of the past, uh, what, 11 years now? 11, 12 years, you have had uh, inanimate objects on the show. We've had the other toys on, but after uh, reading that article about uh, Seinfeld, I knew, I knew. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, if Seinfeld could do that to get the uh, Emmys, we could do that too and uh, and get some attention. Yes, sure. Okay, let's do a top eight list. New new shows are Jenny Jerry Je Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Number eight, Dr. Jerry. Number seven, Jerry finds mud. Number six, talk to Jerry. Why is everything King Mutt? Number <laughs> five, nothing but Jerry Seinfeld. This is bullshit. Number four, Jerry needs a rep. This is <laughs> Number three, let Jerry do nothing. Number two, Jerry is done doing anything. I swear to God, you pay me a little bitch if you even <laughs> raise your goddamn mouth and I'm finna fold you like a goddamn homeless. No shit. Number one, Jerry needs Jerry's a mic! Jerry needs a mic! Fold it like a potato hamlet. Jerry needs a damn break and I, and I do too. Commercial break. We'll be back. Children. Oh, that's fine. We can just adopt. Yeah. And I changed the Wi-Fi password. The 
girls want it. The guys want it. Uh -huh. Every night, all night, we want it. Have you ever had to wait for new carpeting to be delivered? I'll guarantee you, before it arrives, you'll think they must have sent it by Slow Sam's Turtle Express. You can expect to wait a good four weeks, maybe six to eight weeks. But I'd like you to remember, Empire will have your new carpeting delivered and installed in 72 hours. Plus, you'll get your choice of a telephone or Bissell shampoo, free with any carpet order. So call Empire now, huh? 588 empire Don't wait for a Slow Sam. The girls want it. The guys want it. Uh -huh. Every night, all night, we want it. Gotta have it. We get money. I curse you to never have children. Oh, it's fine. We can just adopt. Oh. And I change the Wi Fi password. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. We are still rocking and rolling. You know, having a good time. This is going to be a good. The rest of the show is going to be great. You know, I don't know uh, what happened to the opening remarks for the uh, top eight list, but I can hear those. Let's have some talking time. Let's talk about. It. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's talk about okay, it. Okay, 808, BBC, before you, before you're calling out, that's when all the chickens and the lickens came together. Right? They met for the first time, actually, that year. Why are they doing that? Because they had a deal. At 808 and 804 in the MPM, one afternoon, evening, evening, night time, all times of the day, right before everything started getting loopy. You know, they uh, say a certain song. And that's why when a ton of hours, it's called a zoo. Unless it's a farm. We're on, we're on. Do the song. Shut up! I'm in the farm with a damn chicken. I gotta fold you. I got to fold you. I Oh, 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 I yeah, need an expert damn math lesson. Anyway, yeah, he's been here for a long time, boss. Yeah, then he got his big break on Tonight Show, and then he met his friend Larry David, and they uh, put a sit then they put a sitcom together, and Seinfeld was ready to go. It lasted for nine years. Now here's what's interesting, all right? Jerry Seinfeld has a unique way of you know uh, doing uh, of dealing with hecklers you know can you believe that really how listen to this okay you know Seinfeld you know uh, hit upon uh, his new idea and out uh, his then new idea and out the heckle therapist yo y'all finna think I'm stinky I thought this man was talking about Jerry Springer. Jerry Seinfeld. Shut up. Until I saw the face, I'm like, yeah, Springer. Here, we, Seinfeld. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why are you saying the fucking la last name so fucking weird? It's not Seinfeld. It's it, 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 it Springer. When I saw the damn face, I'm like, oh shit. 
How the hell is that thinking? And I had to say, he's a therapist? Yep, he's a, listen to this, okay? Check this out, okay? Now, this is very early on in his career, right? When the people would say something nasty, he would immediately become very sympathetic to them and try to help them with their problem and try to work out what was upsetting them and try to be very understanding with their anger. Okay. You know, he would... They opened up this whole fun avenue for him as a comedian. And no one had ever seen that before. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. That's quite understandable. And some of his comedian friends used to call him and... Uh, and they told him that uh, they would counsel the heckler instead of fighting them. Why? Because it seems more fun that way. Check this out. He said, instead of fighting them, I would say... Uh, uh, this is what he said. He said, instead of fighting them, I would say, you seem so upset. I know that's not what you wanted to have happen tonight. Let's talk about your problem. And the audience would find it funny. And it would really discombobulate. The heckler, too, because I wouldn't go against them. I would take their side. Like, you, like, you right. I am a, a, a piece of garbage. So, let's do find a piece of garbage, shall we? It's like, oh, um, you want to say So, a piece of garbage is, 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 is something in the trash. I am trash, aren't I? And, and, and my hair is trashy, and man. And then he starts capping. Now, this is why I keep telling you, you know, he needs to be, uh, you know, on TV as Dr. Jerry. You know, no, I'm serious. He would tell a couple of jokes. The audience, one audience member or two audience members would, uh, would start uh, yelling out some stuff. Jerry Seinfeld would say, okay, 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 let's uh, talk it out. And he does the whole uh, rest of the hour, you know, just talking to one of those people. And then everybody laughs and it's, oh! Wait, no, 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 You see, I get his, I get his stuff. He makes it so awkward that it's funny. Like, have y'all ever been put in a situation that's so awkward, like, heh, <laughs> I swear to God, that's what he's doing. It's like if the class clown is clowning out, and, 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 and then the teacher says, but what is the definition of a clown? Y'all be like, wait, huh? And then y'all be laughing. Now check this out, Adam, okay? You probably heard about uh, this uh, show Seinfeld, right? You, we just talked about it, right? But here's the thing, right? You know, uh, he, Jerry Seinfeld, loves Superman. I'm not surprised. And he was a common theme on Seinfeld. But people don't uh, recognize uh, Superman not that much because he's always uh, standing on the show, right? Really, then, 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 who, then who, then who was Superman? Hmm. Superman was this, uh, super No, no, no! You say it was a common theme on Seinfeld. Then who was Superman? Ah, uh, you know, let's just move on, okay? Bald. Because this is getting, uh... Bald. Listen to this, right? A former Seinfeld writer admitted that they were never given instructions to start including Superman references. Instead, they just happened organically and continued for all nine seasons of the show. You know, it, it had something to do with the fact that the real Seinfeld is a huge comic book fan and considered Superman one of his favorites. You know, and uh, Superman uh, became like an honorary fit member of the cast. Fit cast member on the show. Apparently, somehow, I'm, I'm not sure how, but okay. But here's the thing, alright? You know, well, all the, uh, the Seinfeld characters, you know, uh, were devoted to lying, cheating, and getting their own way. Whereas... Superman was devoted to the truth, justice, and the American way. What American way? Getting through things. Nah, 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 nah. You already fold. Quit folding yourself, mate. Wow, like guys, have you have you ever just say say some? And and did you fold yourself? He's doing it. So yeah, he likes Superman, and apparently Superman is like a shit that was in Seinfeld secretly. Apparently, I understandable. Anyway, so what? What, what else? Well, uh, mm -hmm. here's the thing, right? 
You know, Seinfeld uh, writers uh, followed uh, co-creator Larry David's uh, strict rule, saying no hugging, no learning. You know, while coming up with storylines. Because they wanted the whole show to be fun and all about nothing, as they said. Well, yeah, a good show is about nothing. Wait, wait a minute, bro. Let's uh, think about this for a moment, right? Because we've talked about this once before. We've been on the show, uh, we've been doing the show now almost 12 years. 12 years, right? And this show, uh, what is this show about? Really? Nothing, right? I'm just saying, good show has to do with nothing. I that is it for the night. That's it. Tomorrow we're talking about Cecily Strong. Wednesday, Kevin Hart. And on Thursday, oh my goodness. And on Thursday we're talking about Melissa McCarthy. And then on Friday we're talking about Joe Hines. Number one nine. I hope you hit me by the show. What is our eight? He likes books. Metal Gaffy. Michael Sykes. Cash. Michael Kevin Hunter. Flash. Shots. Michael Vortex. Seven PG. V. A. Three. Else. Marshall Fireflies. Ninety seven. And Plumber J. Two exclamation mark. All beer. All right. You know, so please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. That's news. I'm out skis for all by all. The girls want. <laughs>